The Daily Mile started when a friend of the school made a passing comment that the children weren't fit. We decided we've got a field with a path around it, why don't we try seeing if they can run around the path to get fit. For three weeks, a primary six teacher took her class out and got them to run around the field as many times as they could in 15 minutes. It turned out that they could roughly run, once they were fit at the end of the three weeks, they were able to run five or six times round. And that turned out to be a mile and the Daily Mile was born. To get 420 children running each day it means it has to be flexible and it is flexible. So it's managed by teachers on a class by class basis with they have responsibility for when they run, it's not timetabled, it's not complex and the children don't change, they put on their trainers. If it's a good day they take their sweatshirt off, if it's cold or a wee bit wet they put their jacket on but they just go out and run for the 15 minutes. 15 minute turnaround can't waste any time it's really slick. And I find that if the children are starting to get a little bit tired or they need a little break that's the perfect time to come out so sometimes we'll come out in the morning sometimes we'll come out in the afternoon it really just depends on the children because it is so flexible and it doesn't take a lot of organizing it doesn't take it doesn't take any resourcing then you pretty much come out whenever you can. At school we the children are fitter, they are uh, more focused, they're more ready to learn, we find that they're more settled, they're less fractious. From nursery to P7, they have more energy, they look energised and we think they're happier. We think that they get on well with their friends, um, that they want to come to school and a big part of that is the Daily Mile. I like running because it helps me get fitter. I feel like I get more and more energy in me as soon as I run. One of the things we notice that is that the children are very resilient. When they fall down, they jump back up again. A key thing is that the weather makes them resilient. They're out, Scottish children out in Scottish weather where they should be. Some children who will perhaps in the time that you're out run seven or eight laps, which actually equates to more than a mile. You have some children that might only run five, which is slightly less than a mile. But it's about the children setting their own targets and seeing the improvement that, that they can make. When you come back into the classroom, they're ready to focus again. And the level of work that the children produce, the, the way that they're able to think, has increased from prior to going out to the Daily Mile. It makes me feel like I can do anything afterwards. Yeah, it makes you feel like once you've done it, you can go back inside and feel ready for doing some cool learning. It releases your endorphins. It makes you feel energetic about your work. And also after, you feel quite proud because you've just run a mile. It makes you feel a wee bit competitive but happy at the same time. Staff can choose how they participate. Many of them do take part and walk with the children or run with the children. They find that the children talk to them in a different way when they're outside and there are benefits for relationships. We find that the children um, benefit from running with children of different ages, with children who are not their friends and with their friends and we find that that's a, a big social knock-on benefit. One of the things the teachers and the children take responsibility for is linking it with other learning. So um, currently primary five, six are doing um, waterways and they're running a daily Nile, not a daily mile, but there are many, many other rich curricular links that are made with the daily mile. We have huge support from parents and the daily mile could not have been sustained over three years if we didn't have that backing, that buy-in from parents. I've got two kids, um, age four and six, and they're doing a mile a day and, and they're loving it. Um, they're just fitter and healthier and we're able to do more stuff with them at the weekends. Um, they're prepared to walk a bit further and we even did a wee hill locally recently as a family which was impossible to consider before. James is a lot happier at home, he'll, he never used to run about and he'll always run about now and talk about the daily mail constantly, loves it and I've got another two kids who like it as well. And sometimes they get to do it together, yesterday mm. they were holding hands going down the two classes around at the same time. So it's nice socially like that as well. We know that the children's cognitive development has benefited from the Daily Mile, which needs to be a daily event. If the curricular tasks that the children are completing are appropriate and the children are healthy, which they are, then learning will take place and it will be enhanced by their fitness.